around without doing this every rotation. Hey, Kurt Curtis coming at you from the Full Octane Garage, and today's episode is going to be a little bit about giving your Porsche 997 a little bit of attitude. The one thing that I do like about the 997 is it has, I have a Carrera 2 uh, Cabriolet, and it does have uh, the wider body on the rear, but it's always bugged me that the tires stick under the wheel wells so much. So, I did a little bit of research and I identified that you can put wheel spacers to make the car appear a little bit wider. Actually, the track will be a little bit wider. So in my research, I uncovered that you can put a 15 millimeter, up to a 15 millimeter wide spacer on the rear. Now when you do this, something that's a little bit different, if you haven't had your wheels off your, your Porsche, they're not lug nuts, they are lug studs. Now what this creates an issue of is, and it would have created an issue if you had studs sticking out you put lug nuts on, but in the Porsche world uh, the stud goes through the wheel, then through the spacer, and then into the uh, the wheel hub. So you have to make sure that when you get your 15 millimeter wheel spacers for the rear that you actually get a bolt that's long enough and fitted for the additional 15 millimeter spacer. The second piece that's extremely important is a lot of wheel spacers you can just throw on and you'll notice this one is what they call hub centric. It's actually got a raised section on the hub where the wheel will self center and in the back side it has a groove cut in here because sticking out of the hub is a, a protrusion similar to this and you want this hub to self center to your wheel hub then you want the wheel to self-center to the spacer. And that will ensure that the, the wheel spins perfectly around without doing this every rotation. So real important, hub-centric wheel spacers when you're shopping for them. The fronts are the largest that you can put on the 997s is a seven millimeter, at least I'm told. So we purchased some seven millimeter front hubs. Number of sources out there, you can get these. Uh, same thing, make sure they're hub centric. Now, uh, coming out of the front, I haven't seen it, haven't had a front wheel off yet, but I believe that there's going to be a couple of these uh, offset um, protrusions sticking out of the hub, and you'll have to figure out how to line it up onto that hub. Now again, front wheel, lug studs. We got some that are long enough to support the additional seven millimeter of depth and uh, these should be pretty simple to put on. I'm going to go and do some before and after shots. I'm actually going to set one, do one side at a time so that we can go back and forth to see yeah, which one looks better and then we'll go ahead and put both backs on there and do some nice rear shots. It's going to show you how fat the rear is going to look now. First we're going to start with the rear jack point on the Porsche. I took a hockey puck on top of a jack and you're going to center it on the jacking point we're going to jack it up until the car comes off the ground in the rear And we have the tire up off the ground. So now we're going to work on taking the wheel off. Okay, these are 19 millimeter uh, lugs. I happen to have one lug lock, so I am going to have to unlock it first. But we'll get the rest of them loosened up to start with. Boom. 
When I put these lugs back on, I'm changing to black lugs, and I am not going to put the wheel locks back on. I think I'm in a safe enough neighborhood. I'm not going to worry about them getting stolen. Okay, we have all the lugs off. We're going to pull the wheel off now. Not much to it. The one thing we are going to make sure of is that our wheel spacer will fit flush on the new wheel. And I am having the problem that I thought I might have with this. Okay, one problem to look out for, and it's going to be a little hard to see on camera, but these particular wheel spacers were sold to fit a Porsche 911, 997. But what we're finding is, is that this um, hub-centric uh, portion is conical in shape, and it actually does not uh, allow this spacer to fit flush up on the wheel. Now, a friend of mine had a used set, and we're going to see if they fit. They are flush and, and straight cut, same size, they just happen to be used. And sure enough, they fit perfect. And what you, you would be looking for is you'd be looking for a gap between the spacer and these flush edges of the wheel. So we don't have any problems. We're going to go ahead and mount this guy up and uh, put some new lug nuts on and uh, see how it goes. Now lining the hub and wheel up is always going to be the fun part. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look up the torque spec. We're going to come back and torque these down, and then this side is done. Okay, we've got the torque wrench to set to 118, 118 foot-pounds. Do it in a cross fashion. After you put a few miles on it, you're going to want to come back and retorque them. These spacers shouldn't compress, but you never know. Lug nuts, lug bolts may stretch, they're brand new. And we're all done. I'm going to set her down, get some pictures, and go do the front. Okay, the front's going to be very similar to what we did in the back. There is a jacking point right there in the car. We've got a hockey puck up against it. We're going to... Uh, Raise it up until we center. Okay, we're now to the front wheel. We're going to go back to the air impact. We're going to take our locking nut off this time. The first, that's the first one. the wheel. Okay, 
Okay, the front's a little trickier. You want to have the uh, the spacer uh, nubs sticking outward, and we're going to have to go in and find out where the spacer fits. Ah, there we go. And we have lug nut holes. There are some little set screws, but I didn't get any with these, so we're not going to use any. I have the new lug nuts. Now we'll slide the wheel back and attempt to put it on. Again, we're going to work on getting two of these snugged up pretty good. I think the black lug nuts are a nice touch. Next up, we're probably going to be some new brake pads that are going to hopefully produce a little less brake dust. This brake dust wears you out. All right, we're going to let it down, torque them. And that's it for the front. I'm going to roll it around a little bit, get it leveled out, and uh, take some more pictures. Okay, so this is what it looks like before the wheel spacers. You'll see that the wheels stick pretty well under the wheel well. Same thing with the fronts. You'll see that they're sticking pretty well under the wheel well. Well, I cannot say enough about how much the wheel spacers change the look of the car. I mean, if you look at it now, the front tires are just about flush. As you go back, you can definitely tell the rear wheels sticking out more. Then we go to the back of the car. It really gives you that true wide body look now. Okay, all four wheel spacers are on. I've rolled the car back and forth a little bit. It's probably still sitting a little higher than it normally would. But boy, do those wheel spacers make a difference. Now you can look down the side of the car and you can actually see the tires sticking out just a tad. Fills the wheel well up a lot more. Front ones stick out definitely a little bit more than they did. And when you look down the side of the car, man, it definitely looks like a fat rear now. So we have all four on. You can definitely see the fronts didn't come out a whole lot, but boy, the backs sure came out a heck of a lot. And it really, really makes a difference. And we'll get some back shots from a distance. Kind of low. It definitely looks awesome. We'll get it out in the daylight tomorrow maybe and take some pictures in the driveway. Really tell the difference. Okay, we just completed installing the 7mm spacers in the front and 15mm spacers in the rear. And the car looks fantastic. Uh, this is a mod that's going to cost you probably around three or four hundred dollars. Uh, we'll try to put some links into it to show you where you can buy these. Uh, we've given you some pointers on which ones work and which ones don't in the video. And the car now looks, it, it's just a totally different look on the car. So we're extremely happy with it. Uh, we hope you agree with us. If you think of other modifications that you'd like to see us work on in the future, 
please leave us some comments below. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Don't forget to like us uh, and subscribe to us on YouTube. And come back often or we're going to have more modifications for our 911 coming at you.